Yo, my people. I've stolen that catchphrase from one of our guests today. Um, absolute pleasure and honour. I think when, you, when we see these two guys, we're used to being entertained by them. We're used to them making us laugh. We're used to kind of tuning in because they give us that good feel-good factor. But what a lot of people, I don't think, appreciate is the business mind of these two men that I'm joined uh, to, by today. Two great friends, Bouncer himself. Yes, yes, yes. What's happening, my bro? Steve-O, the ultimate madman. Uh, we're gonna get we're gonna get into it. In fact, we're doing this intro at the end. Like we just came in, sat down. We've had an hour conversation, so uh, the conversation's already happened. So we're doing the we're doing this intro at the end. Now we were saying earlier the two amazing fan bases and followings. You know, everybody seems to be enchanted and tuned into both of you guys, and we saw that in a big way with the little man fight. Like we all seem to just gravitate to this spectacle that you guys created. Yeah, man, it was um, something new, something that we've never done before. The support from the culture was was amazing. Like during COVID, when we had to create a boxing match and the vision was to do, obviously we done influencer boxing, then we had a live performance. We had um, an artist that I was managing at the time. He's still massive now. I, mean, I remember Ian Wright tweeting about it and I was like, wow. <laughs> How does that make you feel? No, that means right is my no. uncle. He's right is everyone's my guy. uncle. Yeah. Right is my guy. Yeah. See from Ian Wright, because I, I I met Ian Wright when he when I was in Portland prison, and he no done way. the football. He done the yeah, football. Yeah, yeah. Was you there for that? I yeah. was in Portland prison. No yeah. Way. So for him to tweet and made it brought back like wow, like man's come a long way because that's happened, and you got Ian Wright tweeting about big up little man. Mate, a long way is what I've travelled to get here. <laughs> what you done is, that's just Yeah, your journey is um, unbelievable. The thing I think that's different for that, <coughs> probably more you, maybe even Bouncer, is you, man, are, like your love. So there's always, like if you're out and about, there's likely to be someone that's, if you get into a problem, there's likely to be someone else who's going, no, 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 that's Steve. Like mm -hmm. we like him, like we're entertained by him. So they might come and like, it's not that, do you know what I mean? Or, or you that might be like, yeah, like, we, yeah, we, yeah. We, we like him. I see it with Rio. When I'm out of Rio, Rio walks very natural because there's always going to be some England fans that are going to be like, ah, oh, you fucking doing that to Rio. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but, yeah. But yeah. me, when they see me, they, all they see is zero. They just see yeah, yeah. money. It's just money. Yeah, so what, what you got for us? Like? First thing I always tell my people is, I tell, I've been telling them, secure your shit. Like, you've been buying all these watches. Don't leave it at your yard. Go yeah, and get a secure yeah. box, man. Yeah, yeah, Go, like, look. Be prepared, man. Yeah, I don't keep. I don't They're keep hungry, bro. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean. And and like your easy pickings. My whole thing is the normal geezer. So, how I've been doing things recently, I have to hide it. I don't show them that bit. I don't show them that side of life because then the my story. Yeah, it's it, complete it interrupts the persona. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. now again, back to basics. I'm telling them my struggles. I'm telling them like it's a different struggle, but it's now ITV ain't looking at like it's a different struggle, and it's. But it's still my struggle, you know what I mean, in a sense. But it's definitely not the struggle. Makes that it me was laugh before. sometimes, though. I get people like reach out. Like you might meet someone who leave the names out of it, but you might meet someone who like is well known and they've done well. This is why I like this conversation. It's why I love like meeting you, just your energy. But you meet someone, they've got a big persona, they've got a brand, they're known, and then like I might sit with them and they spend two hours telling me how much money they've made, how yeah, successful nah. they are, how many things they've got. I'm like, like, why are you forcing this on me? Like, I'm okay. Like, I'm alright. Yeah, yeah, right. cool. I've seen it. I'm alright. And I like, I like you. Like, I'm a. F I always say, like, I'm a fan. Or if I respect them, I say I'm a fan. And they're just like shoving their success down my throat. And sometimes I sit there thinking, like, if I engage in this conversation, you know, how f you, you be messy. Yeah, 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 you're, 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 yeah, yeah. you're finished. Yeah. Um, I'm still just a novice at so much in life. So I'm learning, learning, learning. And one of the biggest things that I've learned recently. Over the last few years, is this ego, man, this ego thing. It's a killer. And, it, and it come with me dropping mine first. I, I, didn't, I would have told you for years I didn't have ego. I'm humble, all of this. But it's not so much showing off. It's just that, that manly thing of, no, no. That, 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 that thing there, I, I dropped and it's fine. I cry. I, if I'm bruck, I'm bruck. If I'm, you know what I mean? If I'm up, I don't need to tell you I'm up. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? So um, uh, the ego thing dropping. But I see it in so many people, especially in social media, where it's all about clout and... And ego, yeah. you know what it I mean? is. We're the same, yeah. So we'll post a picture, and you can get a hundred positive message. Mm. Well done, sick, go. You can get that one negative message, and it can mess up your whole mood. And I look at it as as ego because you like to hear nice stuff, and it makes you feel good. And that one negative message, it over, it over, 
overrides it would over it would change no, your it used people. to oh, yeah. it used to override it a lot of and even when i used to even when i talked to some of my friends and i'm like look like we we like just lower your ego we're not here like just drop the ego out the window and just chase your dreams People are going to put you down because they don't understand what you're doing. All of a sudden, once it connects, well done. Yeah. I've watched your journey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rare, 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 I was rare. in your corner from you the know, beginning. I was in yeah. your corner. Yeah. Don't be happy to always then receive nice messages and makes it makes you feel good if you can't take that one negative message. In this new world, especially this new world that's been created, everyone's striving for perfection. And it's unrealistic, isn't it? Like, how do you balance it? Because you guys are creators and entertainers, so you're putting something together for people to embrace it and yeah. love it and, and warm to it, yeah? So when you put it, when you do it and you put it and it lands, but there's a little section that doesn't really love it, like, how do you, how do you reconcile that? How do you deal with it? I want people to appreciate my art. So if I put a project together and it's Wicked and Bad, and I've done Wicked and Bad 1 to Wicked and Bad 5, I'll... I want people to appreciate the storyline, the art behind it. So if I know down the line, if I've messed up on one thing, mm -hmm. I know, okay, I need to, it's part of, it's part of the story. It's mm -hmm. part of process. the next, yeah, it's part of the process. The next time I will improve in, in that department. You could do six days, bless people calling your names, saying that that's rubbish, this is rubbish. You're weird, what you're doing. Um, and you ignore it. The seventh day comes, you've had the kids have annoyed you, you've had an argument or whatever. You're, you're going to react because you're human. So it's, it's, it's very, very tough. But me personally, the only way that I got past it and found the balance is by just the years, knowing that, okay, I've seen, I've seen that before. Yeah, they're, they're not the really upset. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Your energy to do the next thing and to keep mm. like, bursting barriers is unparalleled, man. And that's something I don't think people who don't know you or see you, like you're always progressive like that. Like, why, why is that? Because my dad used to call me Bone Idol. <laughs> yeah, where I used you, to be. Where are you Bone? Um, nah, I just, just you, you couldn't motivate me unless I wanted to be motivated. Like once I knew I enjoyed my football, I was on it every day. Mm. Ball against the wall. Everything they tell you to do to practice, I've like done. Yeah. And I improved in two years, like massively quick. So again, now, Seeing that happen years and years later, I know that 10,000 hours yeah, uh, thing it, is, is yeah, right. Yeah, you know, yeah, I've right. done it. I've seen it work, you know. Um, but then once I fall out of love with something, you ain't getting me So you're to do all it. or nothing. I'm all or nothing. For me, you are the godfather of this creative content thing. Like, and I might be biased because I kind of first came across you and then I discovered everybody else. But I always feel like a lot of everything else I've seen has followed a lot of your a lot of your mm. um, blueprint. So for me, when I see you, I see a guy at the top of the tree with like mad hunger to still go to, go, go to new levels. So from 11, I would say, I've always been the quickest in the class. It all come easy. Mm. And when things come easy, it's easy to let go. You know what I mean? Landed on my feet with a, a music deal, publishing deal, producing. I'd, again, easy, easy come, easy go. So forget this. Um, and that's literally, I said to myself, I'd given up. So in the van, working, buying, selling, hustling day to day. So then when this chance come now, and it's like, oh, wow, I've been given another chance. Everything I was bad at, yeah, yeah, yeah. not learning, not, not getting, getting any information, but not reading it, didn't need to read it. I know I'm, I'm, I'm naturally gifted. Yeah. Now it's my opposite. Any, I've learned, I read a everything. Of it, like I'm a student of it. I'm a student of anything it. I do, and I work harder than anyone, you know? And I know you say that sitting next to the next guy, yeah. that graphs as <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. you know? So, his, his work ethic yeah, is, is crazy, different. Like right? when, we, when we see where Bouncer is, and it's only really today, I get to understand the full mm, same, journey same. I learnt more today, and yeah. progress like of this man to this point. Because I'm looking at Bouncer from a distance, and I'm going, like every other day, I'm like, oh wow, like a new thing. Oh, he's doing that now. Oh, he's got 100,000 guys on that. Oh, he's got that. And I, I, I think it's amazing, man. Like, it's incredible. It's, it's unbelievable. It's inspiring, where, where, does the, where does that work ethic and drive come from I, for you? I think it comes from, obviously, I feel like where I went to prison for so long, I feel like, I'm playing catch up, mm. but working, it, it helps me with my anxiety. It helps me with my mental health. Um, it, may, it puts me, it makes me happy to work. I enjoy yeah, what I'm so. doing. I enjoy creating something from nothing and building it up and seeing the impact and sitting down with, for example, boxers and that, and actually seeing how happy they are that 
they're gonna box on my platform. Right. That just puts a smile on my face and it just makes me just makes me keep on going harder. For peers like us and we set good examples, for me, is the younger generation. Like my target audience is everyone, mm -hmm. but I know that the younger generation is looking at me and watching me and I just try to demonstrate that you don't have to be a, just a drill artist. You don't have to be a footballer. You don't have to be a boxer. You can actually be a chef or you can be, you can create a brand or you can do this. If I keep on doing what I'm doing, we're going to break the cycle yeah, of the younger no, generation and, and they're going to be going off to do amazing things. Do you think because you went to prison, you're a bit more aware of that? Like you think about that even more? Life experience, I'm aware of it. Like it's just what I've been going to prison, maybe being shot at, being stabbed, being going through all of this that I've had to. Like I look at it now, and I, and I will think things twice. I'll look, I'll look at life and then be like, Nah, this is not the correct way. Like if I go into go into schools or go into centres, I know that they will listen to me because I'm you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm you. So. I've been there. Yeah. I've been. I've yeah. done that, yeah. and and I've experienced it. And now I've had to, having to make mistakes three times spending how long in prison to come out and look what we've built in our culture because it's not just myself. I always used to think you got like you have to wait like let me get on I need to get on properly mm. and there's another thing in our culture I think as soon as someone gets on bring everyone's bring like, like bring me on yeah but I, I'm always like trying to explain you've got to let the person rise because if they if they rise just the fact that they've risen is good now for everybody. I mean it's like even when they do get to that higher platform they're like where's the tickets now? Yeah, it's yeah. like, hang on, chill out, just man. Chill like, the step, man. Just, yeah. They don't get it though, because yeah. remember, I see things on social media, what you, you will understand. I, I could post, for example, the energy drink, be like, yo, and it could get hundreds of thousands of views, yeah, millions of views. It doesn't mean I've sold hundreds of thousands of, mm -hmm. of the product, right. but right. in, 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 in people's, people's heads. heads, they think that. So when they aren't, they don't get it. Just like that though, for me personally, like this new, this next 10 year run I'm gonna go on, cause I'm in my 10th year now, celebrating it all year, it's madness to be honest with you. But all of the stuff that I've learned, it's all about implementing it now, man. And if it doesn't get implemented, then for me, I'm a fool. When you're just in it, it's hard to think long-term and, yeah. and about collaborating, cause you're just trying to like scrape off the table yeah, yeah. to pay your own bills. You think well, people have different views on it? I feel like sometimes our culture, yeah, is that you might have, we have blog pages and sometimes with our culture, Bro, like it's coming like most of the influences on the on there just get teared down by our own people. Yeah. Right? So then it makes our people think, raw, let man just get the bag and mind my own business. Yeah, yeah. Instead of being an advocate for everyone, our power and building That's the culture, let me just get the bag, mind my own business because they're just tearing man down. Let me play devil's advocate, Aaron. Yeah. As a business now, you know that negativity sells yeah um but you know that if i post that it's gonna get young dave in trouble yeah. but if i post it it's gonna feed my family like these yeah. are the decisions that these blog pages now me personally no i'm you. not doing it right that's me but as a business that don't care about a b c yeah. like you know what i mean because no, if they should course. care about that then nike should care and amazon and all these other brands should care you know yeah no i hear you even with our culture, we don't like paying for stuff. We don't like supporting each other. So it goes hand in hand. Yeah. Cool. I understand the blog pages, they post it. The negativity, it sells and there's controversy. Like, and I, I get that. Get yeah. But I just believe as a whole, because we go, we, 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 we say our oh, support a black business and support a black business. And then it's not good just seeing our people just getting teared down. Right. So I'm not letting any black business off the hook with poor service yeah. because we're the same color, right? Mm -hmm. But I start from a place of, I'm gonna pay exactly what you want me to pay. As long as you're charging me somewhere near market rate, little bit below right price, little bit above, I'm good. I'm, I'm paying. Yeah. But, but then I have to treat you like I would treat anybody else I'm paying for this service. So I'm not letting you off the hook, but I'm also a black man and I know how difficult it was for you to create this business and grow this business. I know yeah. the challenges you had to get this business to a state. So I'm not, I'm not gonna be the cause of your downfall. So I'm not doing that in public. I'm not championing that. But I'm definitely saying to you, it's the, bill, the bill's 50 pound. Here's the 50 pound. Can I talk to you? Because this wasn't right. This can't work. 
If you keep doing that, right, I'm, I'm, abs I'm absolutely doing that. And if I come back and I get the same negative experience again, I'm never going back. Someone messaged me the other day and there was that, oh, can you put up um, their, my events company on your snap? And I said, like, yo, bro, have you ordered any Wicked Bad Energy? Like, just like mm -hmm. seven, eight pounds, have you ordered anything? <laughs> and, and he joked, like, he didn't order it. And I was like, see? I think for people in general, the concept of having an energy drink or building a boxing platform is a catastrophic, like it's a, such an achievement, right? So when they see you doing that, they think, oh, you must have it's got gone. to quit. Because people don't have a good appreciation for what it would take to you yeah. know, source that, put ingredients together, get it canned, get it delivered, stock it in the right way, get it distributed. They don't have a good appreciation for that. For them, that's like going to Mars. So if, you're, if you've managed to get to Mars, then you must be good. I do, I do think that's probably... Can I add to that? Speaking of the drink, though, yeah, I, yeah. I, I know you've tasted it. I've got mine with a vodka. I'm tasting it live, and I said we're not going to... Um, Is it warm? No matter what happens, <laughs> we're not going to edit it. Oh, that can be yeah. done. Yeah, trust me. I'm, that can drink. I'm, we drink you're drinking... Is it vodka? Oh, yeah. Vodka, yeah. yeah so we've got oh. vodka. we got, from the community, a DACA vodka. It's a good, um, good guy from East London set up his own vodka company bottled in France. He sent us a couple of bottles to try out. So as it, it I'll be refilling. Oh, is that the one I've, is that the one I've got? <laughs> oh, right, yeah. As you can see, it's meant to be lasting me in there. It's meant to be, I'm going to have another one. As I say, the armpits are getting wet, but can I just add, um, we mentioned about people not supporting. My thing only worked because of my people from my phone, then Enfield, London, and it grew like that. So mine only worked. And then not only that, with my hats, my brethren were coming, buying five hats at a time. Um, when I said that my hats were going to be going to my deposit from my house, people didn't even wear hats, started buying hats from me. I feel like the community and the culture loves you. And I think we see a bit of all of us in there, like mm. had a knockback, gone the wrong way for a little bit, had to overcome it and then make something of ourselves. Right? That's yeah. a, I feel like that's the why I love you. Like that's why no, I, I appreciate. On, I think that's why. Do you think that's why people kind of gravitate towards you? The struggles, isn't it? The, the hard, like the, everyone, they like a, a struggle, a success story, uh, where you've come from until now, and 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 the changes that you're making. Because even from like growing, even from that that space, we all make mistakes. I've made mistakes. I've said things out publicly that down the line I think about, it, but like, think about it and be like, why did I do that? Right. But it, it makes us the person who we are today, isn't it? You're so grateful for how much love and appreciation and people tuning in and following. Like you're you're genuinely grateful for that, isn't it? We do forget without them, who are we? Or if we're in that space without someone investing in your business or someone following you or watching this podcast, yeah. that I'm I'm I, I'm appreciate I appreciate it a lot because without them. It's like, that's what I have to, sometimes I have to say that to look at man. I, I have to say to him, bro, these people, if they stop supporting you, then what, what are we going to do? Yeah, I've it's had true, many, it? many people reach out to me, my favourite actors, um, bro, man's had Vibes Cartel, I'm on Vibes Cartel, well, sorry, not me, little Erin's on Vibes Cartel's page, and we've had them all, all, all reach out to us, but I remember Natalie, Ryan, Jim, <laughs> like, Omar, you know what I mean? All these people, I remember more than these people. And I love the fact that my favourite footballer of all time, my favourite actor, all these people I speak to now, my favourite girl, I done a job with Kelly Brook the other day, bruv. That was my crush. You, you've you been supported as well, haven't you? You were saying earlier, like, the fact that we've come out of the flat, out of that space. Now you're in the big house in all Essex. All due to we'll my Spartans, you, mate. we we'll see you in the garden. But you were saying it's hats. Hats, mate, hats. I remember... Um, cause you got to remember them times. I'm very, very raw. We're going back four or five years ago. I'm very raw um, and and honest. But the brands didn't like that. You know what I mean? And they weren't ready for that. So I was not getting selected to do certain things that I probably should have been doing. And thank God for uh, Tigo at Rewind because he took a gamble on me. Mm -hmm. um, Poet introduced him to me and become a filthy fella. And Tigo had the JD contract at Filthy uh, Rewind, and he put me on. And that was when brands knew, hang on, this guy, Got a he's a, that's, yeah, he ain't that guy that swears, talks about that. He can be both, you know? So fair play to Tigo for that. But um, still, it wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It wasn't enough. And uh, 
So I needed to do other stuff away from it and the hats, I'm an avid hat wearer, you know, so loved my hats. This is obviously sponsored by Starter and I grew up wearing Starter and New Era. Um, so once the deal arose to do a deal with um, Starter, I was amazing. I was amazing, you know, but again, it still needed the help from my Spartans, man. You can have the best hat in the world, but if no one's going to buy it and, and support it, you know what I mean? And, They'll just be sitting on the shelf, like I saw many hat companies sit on the shelf, you know. But um, once I said to my Spartans, look, the hat sells. I was honest. I could have lied and pretend that yeah, I was but you were authentic. You were like, look, I, I need, told them, man. I got to buy a house. Yeah, bro, I've got to buy a house, man. Like, this is the dream. I want to get my kids out of sharing a bunk bed that you lot keep telling me about um, this, that and the other, you know. And from that, there was people that didn't even wear hats. Like, and I know they didn't wear hats. They sent me a picture. It was all like mad, you know. Um, <laughs> And they sent me and they was like, look, man, I'm buying five. My brethren's are buying five. Yeah, like, yeah. And I made sure I put it all aside, you know? Um, so, so I could say to him, look, it's done. This is what you lot have so done. So you man. bought the house off of hats of Yeah, yeah, the deposit crazy. was done by the yeah, man. That is crazy. Yeah, and, and there was even kids, like, again, I know them all by name, man. Like, hold tight, Oli. Oli had received 15 grand. Um, his nan had passed and he'd got her money from, um, she'd left him some money. He messaged me straight away and said, look, bro, do you want this? Like, I've watched you and you've helped 15 me. 15 grand? 15 grand, yeah. Did he... you take it? No, 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 no way, man. I had him. <laughs> that wasn't the only one. Ollie offered me. Um, there was uh, Maria, another girl. She offered me three grand. Like, I was getting all left, right and centre. Because they wanted people me just wanted to support wow. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, I could never come on there and be like, I don't get that support. Look. Mate, my thing only worked because yeah. of I had support, you know? Um, no, and I know, I know you guys, two of the people I know that appreciate and are grateful for that support a lot because we, like, we know a lot of people in the ent entertainment space who have a demeanour like they've risen above it and, you know, they're better than that support. And never. I admire both of you guys because you never, absolutely never. don't think like that. But there are parts of your world and your world where you would expect support and it don't really come through. And mm. I do, I do want to get into that a little mm. bit because... Yeah. I want us to do better as a people and as a community and support each other better. So I do want to get into that side of it as well. Obviously, I've come from the music world. So I was in that music world. You've got the GRM, the link up, the I'm Just Bates, the Shady Boroughs or whatnot, UK Gossip. That's people's ceiling, isn't it? So artists will look at, let me drop a song on GRM. Let me get on, then, yeah. let me get on a million, let me get 100,000 views, then get a premiere, just get my first milli. That's the ceiling. Mm. So then at first I was getting the support and then whatnot, whatever's happened with the journey. And then I thought, you know what? Music was, let me put music on a pause and let me get into the entertainment, the boxing world and whatnot. So as soon as I went onto TikTok, I realized I'm now in front of the 97%, yeah. the normal people. So when I say the normal people, I mean the people that, they, some of them, they don't have no money in their a bank account, but they're still, buying your merch, they're still buying your hat. They're, they're, they're watching your Sunday smokes with their kids and their family. And, and it made not. me realize like, listen, these people who are watching me, they don't know who this drill artist is or what this podcast is. This is actually the 97%. If we had a boxing platform in every country around the world, what's gonna happen now? It's gonna grow because more and more people are gonna look forward to doing it. And now you're just gonna grow and then you collab and you use your that fighter to do that fighter. So for me, I was just very grateful that now we're in this space and it's going the way it's going because the company's already is built, the infrastructure is already built, and so now it's just growing. Yeah. I think it was incredible what they did. When they laid on each other, all those rounds. Huh? <laughs> hey, let you get away with that, brother. <laughs> yeah, I paid my money too. Yeah, I want a rematch. Yeah, Jesus. How, how do you look back on it now? Do you look back? Are you are you glad you did it? I'll be real with you. I've never even watched that fight back. No, no, you shouldn't. It traumatized me. Man. <laughs> you shouldn't. I felt like when I was in there, I felt like I was gonna die, bro. Is it fitness wise? I, fit, yeah. the, the adrenaline, the heat, as well as me fighting, I put on this whole show. It's one thing because we're going, we're gonna, we're gonna build this up because we're trying yeah, to take it here. Exactly, yeah. It's something else just going. We're just gonna build this, and at a point day. in time, this is gonna be a thing. For me, create a story for the day. Like let people go bed entertained. We were talking earlier. Eighty-four million mm. views on Snapchat. Yeah. 
yeah, from yeah. one of your stories. I remember when I was in Open Joe and people was watching your snap. And now, you see, every single day, look, look at TikTok. You go on any page, you can hashtag comedy and you will see millions of people doing skits. But before, it was just, yeah, there's, yeah. Oh, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a lot of people. My greatest achievement in this um, is just the length. Entertainment seasonal, like that's, yeah, yeah. and that is the great thing about both of you because you reinvent yourself and mm -hmm. you come up with. I've had to do that four times. We fell in love with you in that situation, mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. the family situation, and now you're still relevant. Like there, you were in that in the flat, and mm -hmm. it was a bit, it was a bit technical, and now we're seeing you in your big new house, but you're still somehow the same persona. Yeah. Before, when I'm hitting those millions. They're, they're typing in my name. Mm. They're coming for me only. There's no algorithm. There's no catching me on the explore or nothing like that. You know what I mean? So I know when my peak was in that time because I was in a, it was the most organic bit of content you will ever see. I really lived next to crackheads. Mm. I really filmed them having their arguments. My missus really was upset with me that I was laying on a bed. My kids were really arguing. It was really what was going on. I just pieced it together. That was all I did is piece a natural vibe together. You know what I mean? Now, um, when people get around me, they know what can happen. They know, they know the camera's <laughs> on. They know, yeah, so yeah. I'm trying to piece things. It's like... No, Steve, I'll leave it out. Yeah. yeah. That reinventing, that's, that's another kind of talent uh, of yours that we've got, to, we've got to hail up and admire. And when I saw the drink, I was like, well, what is this guy going to do next, man? There's always just... Like, it's always just... <laughs> Landing with something and coming out with something. What what was the thing behind the drink, um, B? Obviously, we done the uh, Wicked and Bad um, boxing one year, 2020, during COVID with Little Man. We put on one shot, one fight. From that, my business partner, obviously, he owned, he's in the festival world, he's big in the festival world, he owns a club called Shush. And we sat down and he was like, he, he mentioned energy drink. And I was like, Do you know what? As we're building a boxing platform, yes, attach the energy drink to a boxing platform. And, and when we're promoting the boxing and our boxers and whatnot, we can, we see a long-term goal. We, we launched it on social media, but it was more just, just target festivals. As we, as my business partners in the festival world, we've been doing it exclusively to many festivals. So we've been selling in pallets. Like so even, every time when we wasn't, even when you wasn't talking about it online. It's still it's selling. Been, still selling. It's still selling. Mm. Crucial that is. We've done the, the arms fight that year. We launched the energy drink, and then obviously we've kind of the, the the falling out with Little Man. It took a year. It set me back for a year. So that was all last year. But what happened in that setback was Sunday Smoke, the the Insta boxing and building up that side, building up the TikTok side of the right, world. Right. And so so I was building. I was still building up. In last year, we put on three Wicked and Bad shows. We done Wicked and Bad. Um, we done Wicked and Bad. Up three, we done Wicked and Bad Dubai, we done Wicked and Bad four. So the brand was building, the boxing was building. Me and Little Man, we've, we've, we've reunited. Bam, we're back. Now January's hit. Right, it's time right, for right. the launch of the it, energy drink. It, do you kind of look at it as now it's come back? It's the right time. It's the it's right time. Yeah, timing, so man. things happen for it's a timing. reason. Things yeah. happen for a reason. It's timing. Um, I'm, and I know, listen, I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in that world where it's very, very hard. But I know that. Like at the moment, I've even just done a campaign with um, a shop called Smacks Burgers. They own eight burger shops. And by the end of the year, they're going to have 20. So we've just created a um, Wicked and Bad meal. So so obviously they, they buy the meal, they buy the energy drink. So my thing is selling the cans in volume. If I can sell 60,000 cans get, we have in, in a year. Smile, like, no, but like, if I can sell 60,000 cans in a year or 100,000 just from that venture, yeah. And it grows and it grows, then the next thing is going to the shisha bars and, and making a Wicked and Bad mocktail. I created this, mo this drink here. What do you mean you created it? What do you mean the Wicked and Bad and Vodka no one was doing that? <laughs> Papa actually just poured it for you. No, I've done one before. What do we say about collaborating? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. People that don't know the education, they will be like, oh, you guys are like, copying Prime. And then they say, no, we've mm, been there before Prime. Mm. But Prime's doing amazing things because now it's helping the brands is helping man's brand yeah. for people to be like, oh, let's try this because we've tried. Well, you had the boxing promotion before. Yeah, yeah. we had the boxing promotion before before um, Misfits as well. But it's it's the same thing that it's helping. But with people, they're easy to see something and be like, oh, you're just copying this yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. But they don't know the, the, the history your, your behind it. Your mentality is is 
is good though because you it's see the important. bigger picture in it. You don't, don't feel, and you don't feel threatened. No. Don't feel threatened by. It. You know, people are, like they can whisper in your ear and you start looking at things like, hold on, but nah, man. Someone said to me the other day, but man, like, look at Mo, man. You should you should be there by now, man. I know, I Mo the not. comedian. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, bro, Mo's super talented at that. I can't do that. They yeah, like man. to compare yeah, things, innit? Yeah. We gotta realize that there's room for everybody. Like, there's so many people on Earth, there's so many TVs, there's so many eyeballs, there's so much money on Earth, there's room for everybody. Like, Prime can do amazing numbers, yeah. and your thing can do mm. amazing numbers, and they can both, like, thrive. Like, every single energy drink that gets bought doesn't have to be a choice between yeah, that, that and that. Like, there's enough, there, there's enough out there. But these, these successes sometimes, well, they change relationships, man, and, like, we've seen that with you in it, we saw that with you and and yeah. and Little Man, and yeah. I know you're kind of a person that some things can get through that armor from time to time because that, that that kind of hit you. Deep for me, man. I swear down, that was. Um, do you know what it was for me? Yeah, it's like for me, I, everyone that was around me at the time, I just helped them. So I went through like a little something happened with one of the artists, and then I feel like done the same thing, helped Little Man, and the people was whispering in his ear, and then. They got him to do whatever he done. Bro, it made me feel suicidal, bro. I'd it? be so real with you. It made man feel suicidal, bro. I was at my lowest, lowest, because I started looking at it like, bro, like, and people was like, how come everyone leaves bounce? Or like, when he comes, how come everyone just leaves? And in my head, I was like, bro, all I do is help people. Right. Do you know what I mean? All right. I done, all I do is help people. So, but it was like a lesson for myself. It was like, kind of like, but it made me now, like, I don't really trust people. So with new people that come, I, I just don't even, I'm just like, I'm the stick with these lot, or I'm more happy just to be around my cameramen because I know my, I know what I need to get out and I know the story. So I don't need anyone else because I just feel like you're going to come, use man, yeah. and then go. And then, and then, and then, with us as people, like, like, like sometimes it's like, cause a lot of people is like, oh, you should have never of let little man back in. Very, very, very rare. I'm saying, bro, this, I actually genuinely love the brother that get me. That's my, that he's my friend. Yeah. That's, I class him as my friend. So I'm saying, yeah, in your eyes, but like we're designed to not forgive, but like I've let it go and I, and I forgive and I'm happy. And, and since and he, he came back. Like to bridge it, didn't he? Yeah, like yeah he like reached he, out like to me, he apologized to, to get me, and and obviously we done the podcast, so he's come back. Have they reach out to him, and he done the right thing, and I forgive him. The people that were saying things in his ears, how come you're not verified, boom and boom, and then all of a sudden we worked back for like four or five months, and then they've put in a ver, we put in a verification, and bam, he's verified now. He's almost got six hundred k followers, and when I just started, he had. On, on Insta, he had 506K. These are the things people don't see. Like, they don't yeah. see everything black and white. And it's like, no, 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 man. Like, to still grow and to get a plus in, in, 10 years later, or to, to yeah. have been apparently uh, fallen off, yeah. and yeah. then to come back and then grow like, like, this is stuff that the champions are made of, you no, know what I mean? Course. So, uh, But then, have you, has your friendship circle changed? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, all oh, right, sorry, have yeah. You lost, have you lost friends? Um, the best one that I get, that's made me lose friends is when they holler me and I'm not picking up, not getting back, but then they see me replying to a hundred Spartans. Right. And they're like, well, you can speak to them people, but us man are here. I say, brother, I was 10 years on my bed. No one hollered me, you know? <laughs> no, I remember I used to look at my phone bill and it'd be like my phone um, call list and it'd be say Saturday. I had a call from Tuesday. Yeah. I'm looking at it. And I remember, I don't know why I thought like that. But I'm looking at it like, raw. Now, I guarantee you, I look at my phone now, there'll be 10 missed calls. Mm. You know what I mean? So I'm very aware. And I'm aware that happens as well, by the way. Like, I'm not, I don't blame you for it. I get it. Now you see me and people are now saying, Steve, Steve, so you, now what is Steve up to? I get all of that, innit? Mm. But don't come at me mate clean hearts win yeah my dad told me clean that. I hearts win over time man there's no there's no substitute for that clean mm. hearts win i was in that um channel four conversation so we were getting that consortium together to make a bid for channel four and we were getting a lot of advisors we were paying a lot of people like a lot of money for advice and a big part of that was because i'm not from that space so I, I needed like good expert advice trying to put that bid together and at the end of that bid, so all them people we paid and all them organizations we invited in to consult with us, at the end of that bid, 
I remember I spoke to you and you came here and we sat together because the biggest part of the Channel 4 play was the online, mm -hmm. was the online play. Yeah. And you came here, like had nothing to gain from it, came here, sat with me. We talked a lot about that online space and I learned so much and you just, like, you just gave all of that to me. There was no deal, there was each no one, each one, man. exchange, nothing, mm -hmm. just drove here all the way from his house in like, far, far. Right, <laughs> 10 hours away. Do you know what I mean? Just to, just to talk and, and give me a little bit of an idea about something that I wasn't familiar with. So, you know, you're, what you're saying about each one, teach one, that, like you mean it. I you mean it, I mean, man. And, and I mean it more than ever, that. because as we've said, and we always were going to touch back to it, when any time our industry, our culture has been flourishing, so only when we come together. It's a business strategy. If you're up against something that threatens you, figure out how to dismantle it. So I don't even resent it when it happens, right? Because it's a, it's a business strategy. Like, if, some, if something or someone is threatening my business, I look at them and say, okay, how do we deal with this threat? Maybe in my world, the corporate tech world, it might be a competitor. It might have a founder and a co-founder. And maybe the way to do it is to hire the co-founder. Right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna divide, I'm gonna break up. The thing that makes this strong and powerful, I'm gonna break it up. I might hire, hire that person out so, of there. Right? Divide so divide and conquer, yeah. So when, when we start coming together, and, and this, I see it and hear it from a lot of my friends in entertainment, that when we start to get together and we start to build power and we start to have platforms and we start to have followings, it becomes a threat to the mainstream. 100%. The thing I don't like about it is how naive and ignorant we can sometimes be among ourselves yeah. Yeah. that allows that to happen, right? It's, and, and entertainment is unfortunately a good place where you see it. So you will see someone get a 50 grand deal and as a result of that, they leave their manager or they leave the stable behind. Yeah. I think, so you've been bought for 50 bags or 100 bags and now this thing that was going to go on and blow and become a really big thing won't happen because after 100 bags run out, it's you done. won't get another deal. You'll never release music under that thing anyway because yeah. that 100 grand is just the price of getting rid of this threat. And they're like, it's a rounding error, like it's somebody's expenses budget. It's not even a lot of, it's not even a lot of money. That is what I hate. That is what I hate, that we can be dismantled so easily sometimes.